Hello, hello. We're playing some honky. I want to know how Bog got this really cute, like, border? What? Oh, wait, what? What is this? <laughs> Underground treasure hunt event. Is that going on now? What the heck? I want that. <gasps> Wait, it is. It's a thing. I have a week to do it. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Today. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Carmine. Thank you. <laughs> Here's the shit out of me every time. So I might be doing... I want to do more Bellabog companion quests. I might get Sampos? Because I think you get them if you acquire the character, maybe? I don't know. I got him in the gotcha and then he started texting me, so... Or maybe he's just texting me with, like, nothing important. Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I got part two of Clara's little robot quest. The little guy we picked up a little while ago has been fixed. Drop by to see us if you have the time. <laughs> yes, Sampo is in the gotcha right now. Um, it's not this. Oops. Uh, Kafka, and then Sampo, New Boy, and Serval. He avoided me for so long. <laughs> I love how she uses the emotes. She's so cute. Okay, so I got part two of her companion quest. Um, Sampo. Hello, good friend. Do you require any financial management services? I have a line of products that can help with that. They're so versatile and robust, you can re recoup your investment in one cycle. Any interest? A <laughs> new scam? What kind of new scam are you pulling this time? The Sampo kind? Ha ha ha, you're funny. <laughs> this is purely an investment plan. It's very stable. You can send me some money and try it out. If you lose money, I'll pay you back. How about that? I want to, but I have no money. Hmm? You should have led with that. I have other business to attend to. Catch up soon. <laughs> Fucking rude. Message from Welt. I just got a great idea. We can make an animation based on the express. Oh, that's cute. Of course, the story would take place in the distant past. And for obvious practical reasons, we will most likely need to modify most of the plot in the end. But that's just an afterthought. I've been out of the industry for a long time now. And frankly, I'm especially interested in hearing what you young people think. For example, what would you find most compelling in such a story? Hmm. In truth, I just want to see the protagonist fully upgrade their equipment. That is, the protagonist keeps getting upgrades and getting stronger, right? Next question, when do you think the story should end?
when everyone's wishes come true. After reaching a satisfying conclusion, stories like that have been told before in animation. I'm actually really glad that you see our journey that way. Looks like I'll have to make this dream come true after my next retirement. My next retirement? <laughs> Wait until that time comes, and then we'll have a nice chat again. <laughs> he called me fam. Sampo, Certified Ancient Relic Agent. Fam, I've been thinking about something. I think. After being in the business for so long, I'm really tired. I want to quit. What do you think? <laughs> um, I think this is a good thing. <laughs> One fewer person to watch out for. <laughs> You're so funny. Honestly, I thought so, too. It's not easy to just quit, though. Gotta do other businesses to feed mouths, right? For that to happen, I have to have a capital. <laughs> I gotta shower and talk to you soon! I haven't finished yet! Friend? Hello? Are you really showering? Oh my god. And then one last text from Welt. Do you have a moment? I have a favor to ask. Okay, Mr. Yang, let's hear it. Do you know how to change your profile picture? Maybe try asking customer service. Ah, I can't find the customer service function either. What do you want to change your profile picture to, Mr. Yang? <laughs> this is the earliest version of the animation. Although the calendar here is different from that of my hometown, I have calculated that the anniversary of the premiere of Arahato is coming up soon. I did so many takes to get my new profile picture ready for the anniversary, but I never imagined that... It's time for the Express to have its own internal communication app. Can I look at it? <laughs> it's cute. Indeed. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the only like quest I got from that was Clara's. Which I think I'll do because that one's the freshest on my mind. Since I just did it last week. I just did part one last week. And it made me sad. You, Pascal, very like Pascal. <laughs> Good boy, Pascal. Oh, she Based named on the him. Information gathered. It is recommended that Pascal's data be <laughs> formatted. <laughs> and integrated into the base network so that he doesn't threaten the property or safety of the camp's residents. I know this is the most sensible option, but Pascal... How are the repairs going? Welcome, outsider. Thanks to Clara's hard work, the repairs were completed successfully. Yes, the little fella is alive and well again. It's just that some parts aren't completely back to normal yet. Pascal, is that his name? Yes. Mr. Sparg and I spent a long time coming up with a suitable name. Ew. Pascal. Good. I thought I it said ew. I'm called <laughs> name. Oh, look. Pascal is greeting you. It's just, his speech is still a little confusing. The examination conducted earlier revealed that the information stored in this robot's core module is incompatible with the new hardware. Furthermore, many defective networks were detected in the core module. A significant amount of muddled information with unknown content was discovered during a deep scan. Simply put, Pascal's brain is filled with junk information of unknown origin, 
This junk, along with hardware that's incompatible with his core, caused him to lose his ability to communicate. Fortunately, apart from the language module, Pascal is still functioning properly. However, the robot still has a 44.7% chance of malfunctioning. It's recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. Mr. Svarog, I understand, but I think Pascal is different. He possesses a quality that other small robots don't have. In some ways, I believe he's similar to Mr. Svarog. I can't overlook this unique quality. Mr. Svarog, could you give me a little more time? I want to investigate this further. If we don't find anything, you can integrate Pascal into the network. Understood, Clara. I respect your wish. In the meantime, I'll make sure that this robot doesn't endanger other people or property. Hmm. So, what should we do now? I'd like to recap what I discussed with Mr. Svarog earlier. Let's begin by doing exactly what we did before. Find a new shell, put Pascal's core in it, and see if the hardware is compatible. According to the analysis, Pascal's original hardware was a direwolf or grizzly model. If we can put its core into the appropriate shell, there's an 87.3% chance that its language module will return to normal. There are all kinds of abandoned robots in the machine graveyard. Let's go take a look. Back to the graveyard. Wait. I know how tricky it is to get there. You can't fool me. I miss Toby. Place. Everywhere you look, there. Are hey, big sister. <laughs> okay. Take a look over there. Uh. This is an automaton direwolf, but it appears to have been modified. It's most likely another abandoned robot pet. Although it doesn't seem to be functioning, you should still be cautious when approaching it. <laughs> I don't think that's what oh, it's no. saying. It's still active. Watch out! <laughs> it was giving me subtitles for that. Who's translating? It's not me. <laughs> Those aren't words. <laughs> this big fella is completely out of control. Let's I turn quiet it. him down. I turn it. Hey. As you wish. That paradise may be unreachable for savor it in my place. I love the gold in his sword. Blue. When it shatters. Really pretty. <laughs> that she gets to go immediately Allow after her ult. See you off. So cool. <laughs> Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead will return. That which is seized must be repaid. Oh, you're fine. Uh oh. <laughs> Fight 
fight to win. He's fine. Be silent. <laughs> Is that all you got? Let me pay you back. Tenfold! You're not going anywhere. I will dispatch you by my sword. Pity. You chose the wrong enemy. Receive divinity. He's so like full of Thank himself. You. I love it. Nothing major. The way he also stands with his hand behind his back. Ugh. As you wish. No more playing nice. A blade's edge knows no money good. The loss. <laughs> Allow me to see you off. <laughs> Be silent. Prongles might try out Honkai Star Rail. Want to see what I can do? They were like, "Would I like it?" And honestly, I'm not totally sure. I will dispatch you by my sword. I feel like the combat system is is fun. Abyss flower, but blue. Not sure about like the leveling aspect of it. Eternal sleep is not the end. But I basically said Again, it's free. We'll you can try it. If you don't like it, you'll know like right away. That which is seized must be repaid. Pity, you chose the So wrong then enemy. you can just quit. That paradise may be unreachable. Savor it. Also, I said place. that they should play before the Kafka banner goes away because they would really like Kafka. <laughs> because she's evil and sexy. Learned your lesson as you wish. Touch this. Your end approaches. Would you leave my son alone? Be silent. <laughs> Here it is. This is the core. I'll pack it up and take it with us. Hmm. Then all that's left is to drag the shelf back. You're taking its core, too? Judging from how active the robot was, its core isn't just scrap metal. It should be repairable. I can't let any robot go to waste if it can be repaired. So... I'm going to try to fix them all. My ticker not working. Um, so we should fix Pascal, or... This one first. Let's start with Pascal. We found him first, after all. Hello, Toby. Welcome. Also... Like Mr. Svarok warned, if he's not supervised, he might cause trouble. There we go, now it's working. You know, I have a large safe full of core modules that I've gathered around the underworld. Every day, I try to figure out how to repair some of them and return the robots to normal. Except, there are a lot more than Mr. Svarok and I can handle on our own. But, I'm sure I can fix them all one day. We can't relax yet. We must work harder. She's so cute. 
we can get Serval to help us. She's an expert mechanic. Really? I can't wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was talking so much that I totally lost track of time. Let's head back. Otherwise, Mr. Svarog and Pascal will get worried. Oh, wait, what did I get? Oh, probably just more parts. Ah. Oh, no, what is this? Oh, whatever. I have so many records to cash in. Robot shell. A metal casing removed from discarded robots. Maybe it can still be used. Mr. Sparog, we're back. Welcome back. Return. <laughs> Clara. Rivet. Fail. You're... <laughs> Welcome back, Clara. I've completed my further analysis of this robot. What have you discovered? Conclusion. It is impossible to determine the time of manufacture, purpose, and ownership of this robot. During my analysis, I extracted the robot's serial number and searched for it in the Underworld's automaton database. According to my search, there are 32 automatons with the same serial number as this one. Even after eliminating the scrapped ones, Three automatons still match the keyword description. Failure. Three. Back. Rivet one. Fail. Here. Aww. Is Pascal trying to say something? It appears so. I'm not sure what he's trying to say, though. While we were talking, the robot's failure rate increased. We should activate alert mode. Tempering. Tempering. Back. Back. Back to Rivet. Fire. Fire. Pascal is becoming increasingly unstable. We should change his shell. Oop. Pascal, I'm going to change your shell. Don't worry. It won't hurt. He's going to have another breakdown. Cl Clara transferred Pascal's core module into the new robot shell. Back. Back. Back! Back! Back to Rivet! 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 Return. Waiting. Continue. Repair. Waiting. Failure. Waiting. Still not functioning properly? What's wrong, Pascal? Watch out, Clara. Failure. 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 Yup. Are we gonna have to fight him again? No. Oh no, he's running. He's running away. Clara. Well, he's gone. Pascal, did he run off towards Rivet Town? Let's follow him. No, Clara. Just leave it to me. I'll order the robots to pursue this one. No, Mr. Oh, she's Farrell, so cute. Please don't. Please leave Pascal to me. It was my decision to keep him in the first place, so I must take full responsibility. I'm certain Pascal won't do anything to harm anyone. But if something goes wrong... Please let me handle this myself. Please, Mr. Svarog. Her little... brownie mouth. Can you endure the thought of erasing his data yourself? I can't shirk my responsibilities. I'll do it. I'm certain Pascal would never do anything to harm anyone. Clara, please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Pascal possesses a quality that other small robots lack. It's kind of similar to the emotions we humans have. I've only ever seen this quality in Mr. Svara. I feel... A warmth from these emotions. I feel drawn to this quality and try to respond back in my own way. But I'm also aware that not all emotions in this world are positive. If there are too many negative emotions that go unchecked, then someone needs to step in and stop them. 
the only things that can stop such negative emotions are rationality and responsibility. Hey, this is a I valuable lesson I've learned from Mr. Svarov. Mr. Svarov, I want to help Pascal overcome those negative emotions. I want to take on this responsibility. That way, I won't have to hide behind Mr. Svarog anymore. Cute. I understand, Clara. I support your decision. I won't intervene unless the situation risks spinning out of control. Thank you, Mr. Svarog. So, let's go. Wow. Okay, so we're going to Rivet Town. Presumably, see, what I'm putting together is there was like a fire at maybe like a workshop. Pascal, who did this to you? Pain, hurt, pain, hurt, pain, hurt, hurt, pain. Clara, get away. This is a fragmentum creature. It's extremely dangerous. What? A fragmentum creature? What are you talking about? What the heck? Have fragmentum creatures evolved to this level? How is that possible? Pascal is obviously a robot, just like you. Could it have malfunctioned? It appears to be normal. Please step back. I shall eliminate this fragmentum creature. <laughs> Voice. No, it's going to attack Pascal. We have to stop it. Hostility detected. Commence elimination protocols. Oh no! It seems to think we're its enemies as well. Is that all you've got? This is a mess! Here you go. Oh, dude, I recently raised my equilibrium level. Nothing can stop me. Um. <laughs> Want to see what I can do? It's rough out here. Dodge this. Pity, you chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> oh, no. like, I no will damage. dispatch you by my sword. Your ah. end approaches. Make good the loss. <laughs> Your I love the way these guys Be move. Silent. They're so Thanks robotic. Bloom. I'm fine. But like aggressively Thanks. robotic. Not the end. The dead will return. Like there's so much weight to them. That which is seized must be repaid. Let me through, or I'll go through you. You're not going anywhere. Allow me to see you off. <laughs> Take this! Shape of Taishu! Rise, Phoenix! Yes! Oh. Bro, what the f- I forgot they could do that! That paradise may be unreachable for me. Savor it in my place. Blade is so cute, but he is just wearing like slacks. <laughs> it's kind of funny. As you wish. Is that all you got? Let me pay you back. Tenfold! He's rocking his, like, target jeans. He's on the job, yeah. Good. The loss. Hm. Wanna 
see what I can do. Pity, you chose the wrong. <laughs> Oh, come on, bro. Fight to win. Be silent. Ooh. No more playing nice. Dodge this. <laughs> Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead will return. I want to know this guy's story so bad. As you wish. Oh, I guess I could have blown up the side guys with that attack. Oh well. Why is Blade the only one getting taunted? Does it just not work on the others? Why is Blade so susceptible? Okay. Jesus. Uh oh. <laughs> Divinity. Unnecessary. Shut that up. Which is seized must be repaid. Fail. Defend you. That paradise may be unreachable for me. Savor it in my place. I love that you heal Blade and he's like, why? <laughs> How dare you? The fight. Is set. Make good the loss. Allow me to see you off. Be silent. Ah. Is that all? God, he's such a heavy hitter. Let me pay you back. I love that Sushong like screams a little bit when she attacks. <laughs> Phew. Luckily, the patrol robot and Pascal's cores are still intact. The big fella shell is only slightly dented. Thank you for your help. The only thing that puzzles me is why the big fella mistook Pascal for a fragmentum creature. Is it a fragmentum? Hmm. I can't figure it out. Well, let's not worry about that now. Anyway, I'll take this core back and examine it. Now, let's insert Pascal's core into the big fella's shell. Clara transfers Pascal's core module. module. Connect. Connecting. Wait, what about the previous Connection. one? Complete. Did we just kill it and then take Testing. its body? Verifying. All modules working. Connected. Welcome back, everyone. Finally. Oh. Pascal has been waiting. Oh no, it's so Pascal, cute. Pascal, you're back to normal. Um. Ask him why he's stealing parts. Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> That's like the whole point of this. Pascal, could you please, uh, explain why you were stealing parts? Collecting parts, returning to workshop. Workshop? Oh, do you mean the tempering workshop in Rivet Town? I like how like we fixed him and he's no longer going through like mental trauma, which is great, but he is speaking exactly the same. <laughs> Been waiting. Repair. Follow, please. Pascal. Like the other robots can speak fluently. Oh, Pascal ran off. Oh god. He went in that direction. I think he wants us to follow him. Oh, 
All right, Pascal. What's up? Do I have to fight you? What is this? I think this place used to be a restaurant. <laughs> nope. One time, I found a bunch of canned food here. <laughs> the vagrants in the camp were so happy. However, I've always wondered. The light here. Why is it still on? This place has clearly been abandoned for a long time. Mm. Also, there's dust all over the place, but none of the equipment appears to be deteriorating. Yes, I got a fan still running. Is it possible that someone lives here? I don't think so. No one should be living here. I never saw anyone when I came here to hunt for supplies. Anyway, someone must be looking after this place. But who? And why? Ah! Oh shit. Fuck. That's not fair. <laughs> Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead will return. All right, we're just gonna do a little, a little skippy skip on this, this battle. Divinity. Repay. Savor it for me. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Oh. Okay. Even a little strength comes in useful. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Bye. Ah! Is it you? Are you a friend? Yeah. Clara, welcome back. Rivet Town. Look, isn't it shiny? Job, Pascal, done. Nice. <laughs> He's so cute. Could it be? Pascal has been repairing this abandoned town? Pascal, repair, indeed. Waiting, Vin, everyone. Oh. Is this why you've been stealing the parts? Parts, Pascal, collect, nonstop. Rivet Town, repair, nonstop. It seems that Pascal was stealing parts because he wants to repair the town. Have you been waiting for us? Waiting, everyone. Pascal, non-stop. Leave everyone. Come back one day. Has Pascal been waiting for Rivet Town's evacuated residents to return? Have you been repairing the town? Repair. Been every day. Pascal, use, can, everyone return. Pascal has been looking after the town so that everyone can go back to their previous lives when they return. So, why did you bring us here? Workshop. Tempering. Here. Base. Pascal. Secret. Parts. Store. Enemies. Not here. Place. Safe. Scared. No need, everybody. Ah. This appears to be the secret base where Pascal keeps the parts. Although we now know why he took them, there are still many unanswered questions. For example... Why... Why is Pascal being treated as a fragmentum creature? Right. That bigger robot said that. How strange. Hmm. I wonder if we can find any clues here. Rivet Town. Live, Clara. Tour. Uh, feel free, please. <laughs> this is also where Sampo was like super suspicious at the end of um, like the Bellabog chapter. Right here.
a well-maintained CRT display device. Though covered by some dust, it still functions. This must be the result of Pascal's meticulous repairs. But the little fella doesn't really need the monitor, does he? Hmm, I don't know. Someone hmm. might. Hey, those look like handprints on the side of the cabinet. Human handprints. Could this monitor have been recently used by someone? Book pages and letters all carefully cut and put aside, whose content varies from tales for, ch tales for children to outdated political news. These pages are so neatly cut out. Oh, and they smell like geomero fuel. Is there someone here in Rivet Town doing this? Or could Pascal have collected the pages and put them together? Huh? What's this? A diary? Wow, such neat handwriting. No, wait a minute. I think this was printed onto the cover. Could it be Pascal's? The page displays a neatly printed typeface, not handwritten, and appears to have been bound. Bound in later. <clears throat> Airframe damage log backup failure. Manual record log. Daily rescue progress, 25%. Estimated time of completion, two days. Discovered number of survivors, null. Rivet Town Guard Automaton online count, one. Determined as current unit. Daily rescue progress, 75%. Estimated time of completion, one day. Daily rescue progress, 100%. Estimated time of completion, zero days. Summary. Discovered number of survivors, null. Possible reason, retreated. Possible reason for online status, backup power activated. Decision patrol, continue town reparation. Anticipate return of residents. The handwriting on this page cannot be said to be neat, showing how out of practice the writer is. Some pages in the middle seem to have fallen out. Daily reparation, parts collection, mission complete, free time, reading books left behind by others. I think books are fun. Daily reparation, parts collection, mission complete, reconnected light circuitry. Lights stay on, feeling safe. Found fairy lights in ruins. Hung on wall, mansion, hilltop, colorful, very pretty. Finish reading last book, seems to be called fairy tale. Puppy waiting, dead master home. A little sad. Attacked by others like me. Hurt. Escape tempering workshop. Workshop safe. Wall. Roof. My home relieved. Today saw broken glass. Me. Weathered. Fix before everyone return. Beautiful again. Loved. Fairy lights broken. Other places search. Attacked others like me again. Explain, no. Call me fragmentum creature, not machine. Why? <laughs> the words on this page seem a little erratic. Some pages in the middle seem to have fallen out. Daily parts collection complete. Attacked by others, like me, again. Almost dead. Hurt. I, not machine, don't understand. What am I? Core. Confuse. Attacks from others like me, frequent. 
What am I? Core noise generation. Reparation parts need collect. Core noise generation unceasing. What am I? Am I? Don't understand. I, what? Require parts collection repair. I, oh God. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, 69. Gibberish records fill the rest of the document. There is no longer any need to continue reading. Oh, this poor little guy. Aww. Pascal. What should we do now? I don't know. Let me think. Hmm. How about we go over Pascal's whole story again, from the start? Try to sort out the whole story. His backup power was activated after the incident in Rivet Town, and it woke up to discover that Rivet Town had been abandoned. He decided to collect parts, repair the town, and wait for everyone to return. Around that time, Pascal became sentient. You recap. Re what? Recapitulate. Recapitulate. What the fuck? Recapitulate. Recapitulate. To recap? Recapitulate. Summarize and state again the main points of. Oh. Wait. That's where recap comes from. Recapitulate. I didn't know that. I had no idea this word existed. Recapitulate. What the fuck? Okay. You recapitulate your thoughts to Clara. That is correct. So, Pascal used to be a robot guardian of Rivet Town. Pascal's backup power was activated for some reason shortly after the residents were evacuated. It woke up to discover that the whole place had been <laughs> Recapitulate. abandoned. Recapitulate. <laughs> so it decided Hello, to collect Africa. parts, repair the town, and wait for everyone to return. Every time I play this game, I swear I learn like three new words. However, for some reason, Pascal keeps getting attacked by his fellow robots because the automatons think he's a fragmentum creature. Is he a fragmentum? Maybe, hmm, could it be possessed by a fragmentum creature? I'm not sure, but I suspect Pascal's tormented sense of self stems from him being constantly attacked by his fellow robots. The module used to detect emotions was frequently damaged, eventually turning him into a small robot that did nothing but collect parts. Why is Pascal being treated as a fragmentum creature? I don't know. I can't find the answer in Pascal's diary. Also, how is he keeping Pascal, a diary? Why do your peers keep rejecting you? Big sister, Clara, tour, enjoyable, is it? Is that my name now? Pascal, collect parts, ready, continue. Or, wait, instruction, next. Pascal's consciousness does not appear to have returned to the level shown in the diary. Big sister, Clara, Rivet Town, resident. Pascal, protect everybody! I see. Thank you so much, Pascal. You can stop gathering parts for the time being. Just stay here and wait for us to return and give you your next orders, alright? Pascal, affirmative. Be good. Wait. I love him. Let's go back to Mr. Svarog and talk about what to do next. He's so cute. Okay. Um, go back to the robot settlement. Boop. I must protect Pascal at any cost. <laughs> exactly. If anything bad happens to Pascal, I will be devastated. what happened, Mr. Svarog, but there's
there's one thing I don't understand. Why is Pascal being treated as a Fragmentum creature? This robot has been repairing itself using Fragmentum contaminated components for an extended period of time. Oh. Therefore, automatons connected to the base network recognize it as a Fragmentum creature. This is a minor issue that can be resolved by replacing components. Do not worry. Okay. That's I see. Good. Has Mr. Sparag ever witnessed a similar incident anywhere in the network? No. Network connected automatons regularly clear out muddled information in their core modules. The likelihood of a robot gaining sentience beyond control is approximately 0.12%. For those that aren't connected to the network, the chance climbs to 3.23%. Please keep in mind that these probabilities are only estimates. Over the past 700 years, this has never happened in the underworld. 700 years? But the robots here appear to be quite intelligent. To make life easier for users, all of Bellabog's automatons contain language simulation abilities. They generate appropriate responses by reading preset parameters and mimicking natural human conversations. This, however, is only a simulation, and it does not mean that the automatons have actual emotional intelligence. But Mr. Sparog is different. Given that automatons can still develop emotion modules using their own processing power, I have a backup plan in place. Mr. Sparag always takes all factors into account and handles problems logically. I can't do that myself yet. God, he's so big. So, what should we do with Pascal? Ugh. It is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. I will maintain the robot's core module and repair its hardware once it has been integrated into the base network. I'm like the size of there his leg. There is a greater than 97.2% <laughs> chance that this robot will return to normal after the bad sectors and muddled information are removed. However... But what about Pascal's emotional intelligence? Once the formatting is complete, the robot's emotional intelligence will vanish. No! <sighs> no! <laughs> is there no other option? This option minimizes both internal and external losses. Although Clara's account indicates that the robot is relatively stable, the assessment based on the computations shows that both the risk of Pascal crashing and the amount of muddled information are increasing when it approaches 100%. I understand. Aw, this is sad. I don't think I'm ready to give up on Pascal just yet. We've helped Pascal find compatible hardware. If we can eliminate the muddled information without damaging the sectors linked to his emotional intelligence? You know the chances of that are incredibly low, Clara. <laughs> How do you generally get rid of muddled information? There's only one way to completely remove muddled information. Overwriting. When the muddled information is removed, the base network will create a comprehensive backup and overwrite the data stored in the corresponding sector. Uh, maybe there's another way. We can install a lock in Pascal's core. Clear the redundant data and locate the core sectors that are still intact. Then we can install a, a new suite of operational programs. This suite of programs can regulate Pascal's behavior and prevent him from hurting people. She's so smart. With this method, we might be able to retain as much of Pascal's emotional intelligence as possible while keeping him out of trouble. If we can keep Pascal's emotional intelligence, I might be able to teach him to treat people with kindness. What do you think, Mr. Sparag? <laughs> This procedure is theoretically viable, but there are risks. It will not eliminate the muddled information. Additionally, the newly installed programs may be later contaminated by it. In other words, because we cannot monitor the robot outside of the network, this approach can only guarantee Pascal stability for a brief period of time. The probability of the robot crashing again is around 
And if that happens, I'll do it again. And if it happens again, I'll go through the exact same steps. I'll guide him and fix him. No matter how many times it happens, I'll be there to help Pascal. Oh, I'm gonna cry. But he will forget about you, Clara. He will repeatedly forget you, as well as all the emotions and memories he has previously accumulated. His limited storage capacity will eventually become completely overwritten by infinite copies of muddled information in an everlasting cycle. Clara, the challenge will be tougher than you can possibly imagine. Are you sure this is the path you want to take? This is fucked up. <laughs> oh no, she's crying. There, there, Clara. There's no need to rush to a conclusion. The variable in Bellabog's fate is still here. Perhaps she can suggest the best solution. Oh my, no. Okay. I, I Me? trust your judgment. We trust your decision. What the fuck? Don't, don't put this on me. Oh Both my goodness. have provided their solutions. Fuck, dude. Sfarog thinks that formatting Pascal's data and integrating him into the base's network is necessary. But doing so will deprive Pascal of his special emotional intelligence. Although it may sound cruel, this approach best prevents Pascal from posing a threat. Clara thinks she can use programming to control Pascal's behavior and prevent him from causing harm while keeping his emotional intelligence intact. However, this doesn't address the root of the issue, and it also requires Clara to devote much time and effort to Pascal. I mean, obviously the latter. Although Clara will use Pascal's emotional intelligence to help guide him in the right direction, Pascal could still go out of control in the future. In addition, Pascal has a history of stealing, even though he never caused any harm to anyone. This is also a major concern. What is most important here? I need to think carefully and choose one solution, and then persuade the other person. Convince Clara or Svarog to take up the other's plan. Oh, interesting. <laughs> My day was so perfect until I knew tomorrow was school. Yeah, I know that feeling. Just see if you can forget again and then continue living blissfully unaware. Okay, so I want to take Clara's side, Clara's side. So I think I have to convince Svarog. Clara proposed that you should choose outsider. I respect her wish. Have you made a decision about how to handle Pascal? Can you give Clara's idea some thought? I had anticipated this possibility. Tell me what you think. Hmm. Pascal is similar to you, no? I understand. You believe that Pascal's emotional intelligence, no. derived from his own computational power, is no different from mine. I am currently still unable to conduct a thorough analysis of human empathy. However, I recognize the importance of respecting such emotions. Clara believes in you as a variable. Either way, your input will be taken into account. I'll keep gathering information and calculating new possibilities. Do you have any other insights, outsider? <laughs> Clara's determination cannot be underestimated. Clara's determination. This entry contains information that is difficult to quantify <laughs> and may cause computational difficulties. Nonetheless, real experience has demonstrated that Clara's determination can often overcome all challenges. To ensure that Clara grows up well, I've always avoided overburdening her. But if Clara insists on taking on such responsibilities, then I have no right to object. 
There's no need to discuss this any further. If you insist on using Clara's solution, the Svarag base network will completely support you. My wow. choice will have a direct impact on the outcome. I should mull it over. Uh, we'll go with Clara's idea. Robot sad. Pascal, we're back. Want to make robot happy? Pascal, good. Waiting. Waiting. Further instructions. Now, please be a good boy and don't move. Pascal, we've got Mr. Sparg to help treat your illness. He'll help you recover. <laughs> it's illness. Illness? What is illness? But Pascal not move? Recover! House! Mr. Sparag, let's get started. This better Understood. work. The protective programs are ready for installation. I'm be so sad. I hope I made the right decision. Is it done? The programs were successfully installed. The robot will require offline maintenance and will be unable to communicate for some time. We can return to it later. I see. In that case, let's go back to the base. I think it's over. I'll check in with Clara later to see what's up. Wow. Oh, oh, yay! Clara has become a visitor to the Express. You might come across Clara when you return. Hi, Pascal. Just taking a nappy. Clara and the Sun. Complete companion mission, rarely affectionate. Pom pom. All right, I've got. Oh, there's Clara. Let me talk to her. What up, girl? The express really does fly up in the sky. <laughs> we must be really high up here, right? Much higher than Mr. Sparrow's shoulders. I feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> Pretty awesome, right? Mm-hmm. It's just like a movie. Uh, actually, I've never seen a movie with views like this before. Next time, I'll have to convince Mr. Svarag to come along. It seems like you like the Express very much. I love it. Thank you for bringing me along. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, um, I have a bunch of records to, to look at. Oh my god, I have too many. All right, we've got Sanctus Medicus Darani. The Mercy of Sanctus Medicus. The Ambrosial Arbor's new growth. Disciples shall attain enlightenment together. Ooh, this one's good. Pet, Pedu, Pedujara. Even immortality ends. Oh, this one goes hard. Oh, the days are painful and fleeting. Oh, spirit and soul rot and fall. Oh, the sun and moon are disturbed in their cycle. Oh, the weak candlelights rekindle. Guy, stop climbing the fucking walls! Get out of here! <laughs> what the fuck? Why are they doing that now? <laughs> Gotta babysit these guys. <laughs> Hi, Obi. Let me climb. No, stop! <laughs> oh, wait. Do I have like a teleport set up on the left? I don't know. Whatever. 
Demiseless existence. Great catastrophe arrived, for great calamity averted. The heavens open wide, and the four humors clear. Um, Godfather. Everything he did using his power was to protect his family. I'm trying to remember why I got these. Ooh, this one's good too. You, you play any song and there's like vague chanting in the background and I'm like, fuck yeah, <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> Freestyle. Life is like a play and everyone lives by their ability to perform. Even the most honest person will have days when they need to improv. Ooh, this is my new coach music. <laughs> that one's good. Weightless. The moment when gravity changed, I forgot to even breathe. Ooh, wait, this one's good too. Swap between these two. We'll stick with freestyle for now. The express really does fly up in this. I love it. Thank you for bringing. Um, let's do. So I know I have a bunch of regular warps built up. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some temples. Just cause I honestly do not remember even getting any of these. <laughs> I think it was because I recently ascended a bunch of characters. Starting arrow, sagacity, multiplication, chorus, arrows. I want like new basic light cones. I'm kind of sick of seeing the same ones over and over. All right, we got another one of these. Let's do another 10 pull. Wait, is this a five star? Okay. Five star on the standard banner. What we getting? Okay, hook is a four star. I didn't have hook though. Oh, her, her character art is so cute. The like drawings of everyone. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, okay, a new light cone. Wait, this is cute. Hold on, who is this? Do we know who that is? Ooh, ooh, okay. I got a five star well light cone. That one looks really cool. Not as exciting as a character, but. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh. Ah, he's so cool looking. In the name of the world. Increases the wearer's damage to debuffed enemies by 24%. When the wearer uses their skill, the effect hit rate increases by 18% and damage by 24%. <laughs> Welt? It's a great name, right? Then from now on, you are Welt. This Hersher core and the mission to protect the world. I'll leave them to you, Welt. Dramatic. Wait, let me see. Do I, can I even upgrade anymore? No, they're all like maxed. Uh, in position. Ooh, the song is good. I got another one of these. I can superimpose him. And this one is new. And the rest are basic ones. Okay, cool. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Now, my previous... Let's see. I, I think I'll switch it to the new one now, even if it's technically lower <laughs> lower stats, but that'll just encourage me to level it up faster. Oh, I got... I think I got another text from Clara, too. <laughs> Big sister, are you free now? I want to talk about Pascal. Are you still sad? No, I've calmed down. Actually, I've thought a lot about it. I just don't understand. What is Pascal? Other robots think Pascal is a Fragmentum creation. Mr. Svarog thinks Pascal is a normal robot. Pascal doesn't even know what it is itself. I think Pascal could even be a human. What do you think? Oh. Well, okay. I think it's a robot. But I'm more fascinated with the idea of it being a Fragmentum creature. What the heck? Hello, Violet! VV. Welcome, thank you for the raid! Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> what were y'all doing? Everybody go follow Velvet. She is my sibling. Yeah, it's also on my throne wish list if anybody wants to wink wink nudge nudge wink nudge wink nudge wink nudge wink nudge. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> That's a very good clip. Uh it is a fragmentum creature. You think so, big sister? But doesn't Pascal just look like a normal little robot? Also, Fragmentum creature, robot, human? What's the difference between these? Some fragmentum creatures can speak and behave like humans. While Mr. Svarog looks like a robot, but he can also speak, think, and even express emotions like us. So how do we tell what is us and what is them? Hmm, through empathy? Only humans have the ability to identify and empathize with other types of creatures. So that's how it is. So maybe Pascal and Mr. Svarog 
Maybe they're all living, breathing humans, too. I don't feel so lost anymore. Thank you, big sister. Hee 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 hee, your little emoticons. Oh, you got Baldur's Gate 3? Hell yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, I saw your, um... I saw your... Oh, what were you? Were you a druid? I saw your little guy, she was very cute. Oh, sorcerer. Nice. Are you gonna romance anyone? I'm gonna see if I can do the underground treasure hunt because I want the little chat, <laughs> the little chat border. I like Asterion. I just think he's neat. Same. It's gonna be really hard to not romance him. Clear ruin one in underground treasure hunt. Ah, it's you again. Ready to go treasure hunting down in the ancient ruins? Um, how did the ancient ruins come about? We call it the ancient ruins because some ancient people built them. <laughs> you probably heard about how the monsters from the sky invaded this place before the eternal freeze. This should be a kind of shelter for people back then. What ancient relics could we find there? I'm not sure. There's lots of varied and strange relics there, and I don't even know what most of these are called. But no matter what we find, what's important is that we can sell it for top money, right? Is it dangerous in the ancient ruins? Sure is. Otherwise, I wouldn't be asking you for help, would I? There's lots of monsters and buggy automatons down there. Not to mention some of my shady peers who won't hesitate to steal the fruits of our gains. And I've heard some talk about even more terrifying things. But don't worry about it. Where there's a risk, there's a reward. I have faith in your problem-solving ability. All right, let's let's go. Oh, wait. Yes, continue. I guess I started this. Oh my god, wait. I forgot that this was like this. Hmm. Last time I played this, I kind of guessed at how it worked. <laughs> Finally got his friendship up enough. Shot a heart and... Oh, is it Lizel? Or like, kiss me. And I'm like, no, stop. I want that little pale bitch. <laughs> yeah, one thing I keep hearing about is how people keep like stumbling into flirting. Like, oh, I'm just trying to be nice to them, but they think I want to fuck them. <laughs> is this like Minesweeper? What is this? <gasps> what am I doing? Um... I have no idea what just happened. I know you're gonna fuck the vampire, Carmine. Yeah, um, I, I've only interacted with Gale a little bit, but yeah, I, I hope I'll like him. I like him so far. Don't get cocky. He reminds me of um, Dragon Age Origins, Anders. Like, Anders when he was fun, before he got, like, fucked up. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! Oh, you gave him a cat familiar? Good. Yeah, when he was like, I like cats, I was like, god damn it. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
Yeah, like, well, he said it to me. One of the first things he said to me was that he liked cats. I think I'm doing this wrong. Oh. I'm assuming these are like, what is this? Like a fight? No, okay, I can just take it. What are, what are I doing? Explore treasure hunter areas to encounter familiar companions who will join up and become selectable trial characters. I'm gonna start BD3 tonight. Yes, Charlie, good. <laughs> you here for the treasure hunt? It must be late, fate, that we met up. So let's travel together. With Sampo here, you won't lose out. So do I like choose from? How do I pick my party? Okay. Do I have to fight stuff? Oh shit. Oh, here's where I can choose. Okay. Um boop. What is this mini game? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to complete it to get like a, you can unlock um, like a cute border in the chat when you like message people. Snap out of it. We're just having fun. Hee <laughs> 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 hee. Cut in the net. Good times never last. Time to say bye. <laughs> I want to shove him off a cliff. Yeah, same. Charlie, who are you going to play in Baldur's Gate? Carmine, you're playing Bogdan, right? Yeah. How's that going? Nothing major. Get cocky now. We're just having fun. Try this on for size. Yeah, it's definitely a big deciding factor for me is like whether or not the character I'm playing looks good. So like when I made Talmud and he didn't look like shit, I was like, Relax. this is the one. Bogdan gonna fuck the vampire. My pleasure. Obviously. A bomb is up ahead. Go grab it. Do I want to? Ancient bomb. Ancient bombs can be used to immediately defeat one normal enemy. Use the ancient bomb to attack the enemies blocking the surrounding area. Oh, Boop. oh that's cool. I like the sounds. This game makes nice sounds. Nadira does does sound like a good choice. What a weird game. Ancient relics can provide buffs for single battles. Additionally, completing relic challenges grants additional rewards. 
Whoa. Ancient relics imbued with challenge objectives. Accomplish the challenge objectives to obtain rewards. All allies regenerate energy up to their respective max energy and enter the Scorch state for three turns. Scorched units increase their ultimate damage by 100% and their weakness break efficiency by 150. Oh, it's not a normal enemy? Damn. No, Dira would not fuck the vampire. Well, that means you'd be experiencing um, a playthrough that not many people <laughs> are experiencing. Oh, is that the... Isn't there like a tiefling girl? Is that her? Worth their salt. Uh oh, wait, who am I targeting? Let's see some sparks fly. <laughs> Regenerate energy for all allies. Oh, okay. Whoa. Eternal sleep is not the end. <laughs> wait, I should have used um Luca first. Oh well. I think Charlie will like her. I don't know if Nadira would. Is it like one of those things where like maybe they're too similar? What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. For your sins. Where's the applause? Opponent worth their salt. <laughs> Let's see some sparks fly! Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. God, I love how like subtly spider themed she is. Kafka. Snap out of it. We're just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> This is my eternal problem. The OCs I would fuck are not always the ones my characters would fuck. <laughs> yep. Start plotting out your your table of like who would romance who. I guess that involves like doing research on the characters though, and not everybody wants to do that. Didn't I have a bomb? Oh, that was the previous level. Do I have to fight everybody? Don't get cocky. Uh, we'll just speed through this. To betray my customers, I charge extra. How many levels are there? Oh, eight. Okay. How many do I have to do to get the thing? Cause like, this is fine, but... I'm not incredibly invested. I do like the music though. The music is, is fun. Okay, I got Natasha. Should I swap her? Yeah, sure. Let's swap her with Lucha. Let's just do a full trial character set. I know they're artifact. They're um. What are they just called? Relics. Started. I know their relics are gonna be better than mine. Don't get cocky now. <laughs> May as well kill them all. Sampo's stupid little. Good time. He makes like Never goofy lost. little noises. Time to say bye. Boom. 
I also really like his, um, when you use his, like, E outside of combat to go invisible, and he goes, ee -hee. <laughs> Small fry. Snap out of it. <clears throat> Where's the applause? The opponent worth their salt. <laughs> Why do I still not know who Luca is? Is he part Sounds of like, like Kafka's no companion quest or whatever the fuck? Like he's on her banner, and I've I'm caught up with the um trailblaze. Missions. What are you waiting for? But like, I don't know who Luca is. The customer is king, and for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. <laughs> now time. Relax. Like I'm waiting for the game to introduce him to me, but but it hasn't. <laughs> Energy storage brick. Um, I don't have any bombs. I could take you one arm only. Oh, Kafka's not doing so hot on health, huh? Don't get cocky now. Oh, he can go again. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, wait, that was such a big chunk. Have a target ally defeat one enemy while the ally something something something. something. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> bomb. Oh, I could have used it on the other guy. Oh, well. Okay, this is the last level, I think, of this. Uh, the, or the last round of this level. Defeating all enemies will activate the teleporter. After you click on the teleporter, the current exploration will end and results will be calculated. We get survival. You're here too? These relics are pretty incredible, so I'm planning to take them back to the workshop and have a good look at them. Come look for interesting things with me. What do you say? Insufficient stamina. Oh. Oh god! HP is currently being consumed to continue exploring. Probably could have read that sooner. <laughs> Alright, um... Kafka's doing okay. Let's swap Sampo for Serval, and then let's swap Luca for Luocha. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, I didn't really need Natasha then. Oh well. Abyss flower, bloom. Thanks. You're too good to me. Oh, I should have. No, whatever. It doesn't matter. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Why she's so hot? Here to crash the party. Keep up. My tempo. Oh, there's a dude all the way over here, but you can't even see him. <laughs> Thanks. 
You're too good to me. <laughs> just in time. Just a little. Does this buff or just heal? <laughs> Think nothing of it. <laughs> it just heals. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. That's fine. Oh, I could have. Stand still. God, I love her follow up attack. It's so helpful. Is it like always? Like, when does that trigger? Pretty good. I don't even know what it's called. Talent? After an ally of Kafka uses base basic attack on an enemy target, Kafka immediately launches one follow-up attack and deals lightning damage. Just at any point, if it's a basic attack, this effect can only be triggered one time per turn. Okay. Turn up the volume. Still, that's like super helpful. Ready to lose yourself? Rock with it. My music. I love Sir Ball's little shorts. Savor the vigor of it. Relax. Good times never last. Time to say bye. God, also still on Baldur's Gate. I saw Time for the main Carmine event. posted a link to like a mod where it just removes like Eternal sleep people's abs, <laughs> which is Again, so funny. And I'm absolutely gonna download that. That which is seized must be repaid. Cause like the idea of like our squishy wizard having abs is so funny. Does it may as well kill them all? This can can it remove my abs? <laughs> Cuz I don't want abs either. You're in that shape. Stand still. Ooh. This song's just for you. Turn up the volume. Treasure. Exploration complete. Damage is well defined abdominal wall. <laughs> No. No abs. No abs. Only twink. Hey, not a bad haul this time. Good job. You don't seem to be working that hard. <laughs> Dang, that's hurtful. I've been scrambling to find treasure over here. You're able to take a break now, but I can't. I have to keep digging to find even more hidden ruins. You probably get how ruins work now. All the best ruins are down there in the depths, but it's also more dangerous the deeper you go. Go get yourself ready and come find me anytime you want to go hunting for relics. The recently obtained ancient equipment, something, 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 something. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Oops. When do I get the the oh ruin five? I have to do the fifth ruin. Look at this, it's so cute. Okay, I'll work on that later. 
Um, I'm gonna see if I can fit in like one more companion quest. Companion mission, sorry. Um. Origin of the Medicine. As the chief of wildfire and the only doctor in Boulder Town, Natasha is busy every day, and it's almost impossible for her to leave the clinic. What's worse, some stubborn patients refuse to come for a follow-up visit. Do her a favor and persuade the patients who joined the so-called Mutual Aid Society. If there's no danger here, then I'm needed elsewhere. Talk to the first patient who skipped the follow-up visit. You. I've seen you in the clinic. You run errands for Natasha, right? Uh, who's Natasha? Don't play dumb. I might be sick, but my eyes still work. Let me guess. Natasha wants you to persuade me to go back for a follow-up visit, right? What's the use? I'm terminal. Life will be over before I know it. Oh, yikes. Uh, was that Natasha's diagnosis? Of course not. I read it in a book. <laughs> he went on WebMD. Every book I read has descriptions that match my symptoms exactly. I can diagnose myself with a dozen incurable diseases before I get halfway through. <laughs> For people in my situation, a follow-up visit is just a waste of time and money. Not to mention medicine. Um, are you serious? What else is there to say? Natasha was seeing me free of charge. She said I could keep a tab running for as long as I liked, then pay it back when I had the opportunity. I guess I'm too proud. Uh, money's one thing, but life? You think I need you to tell me? Don't try and persuade me. I've already thought this through. <sighs> Dr. Vash never charged me anything either. Natasha's great, but Vash was always my number one. Who's Dr. Vash? Natasha's brother. They both used to practice medicine back in Rivettown. Huh? I heard he was a top student from the Overworld Medical Academy. Brother? Bellabog's main hospital wanted him. I have no idea what convinced him to set up down here. Kind heart, maybe. Free medical care? I don't believe it. What do you mean? Dr. Vash was a people's doctor. He handed out free medicine. He even followed up with detailed questions on how he felt. The underworld is always short of medical resources. They say that Dr. Vash made all his own medicine himself. Why don't you go to him anymore? You think I don't want to? I heard that he passed away. Uh, I should keep my voice down. Don't go telling anyone else about this next bit. I won't. I heard that Natasha had something to do with Dr. Vash's death. They say she was jealous that her brother had stolen her patience, so she... What? And do you believe that? It's just something people were saying. I don't think Dr. Natasha could do something like that. <sighs> Forget I said anything. Since Dr. Natasha sent you over specially, I'll do her a favor. I'll go to the clinic for my follow-up a little later. Bye for now. Avoiding a follow-up visit due to money issues. <sighs> I should find another patient to talk to. Elderly Where patient. Have you been? What was that? Oh, you'll have to be louder. My ears aren't what they used to be. Oh, everything's muffled. I want to ask why you're not going for your follow-up visit. Ah! A follow-up visit? Is that what you're asking about? Natasha's a, a, a wonderful girl. She always gives me a thorough checkup. But at this age, 
It's rather a lot to bear, well, even if they could cure me. I'm sure I wouldn't be around for long. I, I, I don't want to waste anyone's time. Hmm. There's no time wasted where health is concerned, right? Not for youngsters like yourself. Hello, Pietro. Welcome. When you get to my time of life. Oh, my. I'm doing good. Health is I'm a doing bit good. of a luxury, you? I'm afraid. My husband had the same illness as me, but he never touched the medicine. <laughs> he wanted to make sure I had enough. Then, one day... He said he needed to take care of some things at the mine. He never came back. He was forever saying he wanted to go before I did. <laughs> ah, selfish old fool. I miss him. Now that he's gone, who cares how long I stick around? Hmm. Dr. Natasha cares. You're not wrong, I suppose. That girl certainly spares me no effort. But I always feel like I'm a burden to her. Okay, you win. It's off for another follow-up visit with Dr. Natasha, I suppose. Hmm? Where have you been? I was Did easy. you want to say something else? My ears are terrible. Have you heard of the Mutual Aid Society? Virtual who? <laughs> Mutual Aid Society. All right. I heard you. Do you have to shout? No, I've never heard of any Mutual Aid Society. Okay, talk to the Avoiding third patient. a follow-up visit due to her husband. I should find another patient to talk to. Why haven't I gone for my follow-up visit? Are you a patient too, or did Dr. Natasha send you over? Uh, you're pretty sharp. <laughs> you should head on back then. Thank Dr. Natasha for her concern. I don't need Dr. Natasha's help now. Tell her to save her worries in medicine for other people. Did you have a dispute with her? A dispute? No, no. She's the only kind-hearted doctor in the underworld. I just don't really approve of her methods, that's all. Too idealistic and no real efficacy. She tries to save everyone, which means she can't save anyone. In the end, it's the patients who suffer, and she just tires herself out. Miners like me don't have time for lengthy treatments. If I can't take something and get right back to work, I may as well lie down and wait for death to come knocking. Did you, uh, know Dr. Vash? His wonder medicine is cheap, and the results are immediate. You just need to uh, be willing to, uh, take a little risk. What does that mean? Who is this guy? Risk? Also, is he dead? I thought he was dead. Dr. Vash's medicine is different. Lots of people make a full recovery after taking it, but some get worse, and the unlucky ones check out early. Even knowing the risk, most people fight tooth and nail to get hold of the medicine. You know why? They're willing to gamble with their life. <laughs> You're smarter than you look. When life forces you to the edge, You'll throw yourself at any opportunity, even if it means risking it all. For people like us, a slow and torturous treatment is the same as a death sentence. If it's between that and a quick result, we'll take the latter. <clears throat> Forget it. Why am I telling you all this? Dr. Vash is dead anyway. Okay, so he is dead. Where can I go to get this wonder medicine? <laughs> what? Now you're interested in the wonder medicine? Listen up. The Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society is still selling that medicine. I can tell you where they trade, but there's a rule. You must not tell any of this to Dr. Natasha. 
You hear? If you break the rule, you'll face the consequences. Here, take this. It's the address. A final warning. Do not reveal this information to Natasha. I know where to find the wonder medicine. That patient didn't want me to tell Natasha about this. Should I listen to him? Um, oh man. Ah, now I'm curious. Let's investigate it first. I want to know. What if Natasha tells me not to go? Hey, where do you think you're going? Um, just taking a walk. In the Fragmentum? <laughs> Give me a break. You're the same as everyone else that comes through here. If you want medicine, you don't need to go any further. You talk to me. And we only take cash. This ain't a charity. Um, what if a patient doesn't have the money? No money? Then you don't get any. You go home and wait for death. Say, what are you trying to pull here? If you can't afford it, then get out of my sight. I've got medicine to sell. Wait a minute. You're close. Are you friends with that doctor woman? I've seen you at the clinic before. I know it. Oopsie. Get lost. Now. If you're a friend of that woman, then you're not welcome here. Ugh. Shop's closed today. No customers. What? This is so weird. Oh, wait. What about our medicine? We've been waiting for ages. Uh-oh. Get lost, all of you. Save your breath and come back some other time. Oopsie, I fucked things up. That medicine seller sure shut up shop in a hurry. Oh, Christ. Get lost, now. <laughs> Get lost. What, I can't beat him up? Okay. If there's no danger here, then I'm needed elsewhere. Uh, explain what you found out about the Mutual Aid Society. <laughs> so the Mutual Aid Society found my... found Bash's research results. And now they're selling this so-called wonder medicine to patients? Any organization doing something like this is interested in more than just mutual aid. The patients wanted me to keep it a secret from you. I'm not surprised. They'll know that I'm completely against them using this wonder medicine. What Vash left behind is nothing I'm about, more than I'm at the beach with reagents Marco. and experimental Enjoy byproducts. Enjoy your honky. Okay, Charlie, bye-bye. medicine doesn't apply here. <sighs> I warned the patients countless times, but... Seems like they had their heads in the sand all along. <laughs> no wonder they kept the Mutual Aid Society a secret from me. I'm guessing the patients you met weren't exactly singing my praises, which is why you tracked the dealer down and made inquiries first. I don't blame you. After everything you heard, I'm grateful you came back to find me. Your trust is important to me. If you're curious about Vash's wonder medicine, you should ask some of the patients in the clinic. See what they have to say about the effects. Some people say that Dr. Vash was a saint who came from the overworld to help those in need. Eh, I don't buy it. People's doctor, that's just what people who've bought into the myth like to say. Vash used to distribute free medicine all the time, but um, he couldn't have cared less about the people taking the medicine. The hard truth is that we were just his test subjects. It didn't matter if the medicine worked or not. What mattered was having a constant stream of willing lab rats. Mm. Uh, of course... I can't control what anyone else thinks. That's just how I see it. Am 
emotional patient. The medicine bash left behind? <laughs> That's Jesus stuff. Christ, Turner. Can you even call it medicine? I know here? Dr. Natasha's here, but I have to tell it like it Wait. is. Bash had zero medical ethics. He didn't deserve the title doctor. He may have had the capability, but he didn't use it to help anyone. Whenever I went to see him, he never even asked about my illness. He just prescribed me his so-called wonder medicine. So, like, is he really dead? Because if not, I don't know. Medicine. I'd kind of like to hear from him. Seems a little interesting. Ooh, book. Musicians of Bellabog, Volume 1. Uh, oh wait. Yeah, uh, huh? Okay, wait. This isn't it, but I'm gonna read this. Customer notice from Balloway, the miner's lamp. To all vagrants who dig for ancient relics. Regrettably, I will be stopping my appraisal services at the end of this tax period. The consulting location at the market will also be closed. In other words, from this day forward, if you stumble over something in the mines, or if your mining team happens upon an ancient weapon, don't think it's a gift from the gods. And don't bother carrying all that junk over to me. As mentioned above, it's done. I'm done. I'm sure some of you will be pondering the reason behind my quitting when work is going well. I suppose I should make the effort to give everyone a proper response. First of all, it's a thankless job. When I started this business, I wanted to use the old world manuals I tirelessly collected to help everyone analyze and appraise their ancient relics. That way, everyone would at least have a sense of the items they found and can have a better sense of value when selling their items. It's pretty clear for those who know. These days, no one understands how people from the old world built these machines, much less the knowledge they had in their heads. Some ancient relics explode when exposed to the air, making it more dangerous than a mine filled with gas. Some were as plain as a metal rod, not unlike the one your wife uses to poke the stove. But push the button somewhere on it, it'll be as scary as one of your wife's temper tantrums. Let me give you an example. During the last tax period, I received an egg-shaped object. That's right, the kind of egg sold at Bellabog Meat Factory. Anyway, I went through all the manuscripts, including Old World magazines, and finally concluded it was some kind of jewelry known as the Ramlea egg. Let's start with a question. What is jewelry? After asking old Uther, we learned that jewelry is a type of decoration you can wear. It seems that old world people really had nothing better to do. The old man banged the egg a few times on the table, then removed the pin on top, which might have been used to hang something on it. Suddenly, the egg started heating up and glowing. It produced a light stronger than hundreds of mine lamps stacked together. Uther might have exaggerated this. The old man could already barely see anything, and now he definitely can't. You can say that I was lucky. When the incident happened, I was in the other room making tea. My eyes were fine, but the old man's son threatened to take out my eyes until I offered him 60 canned goods. Do you understand now? I'm putting my life on the line for you guys, but the money you're paying me won't even cover my medical fees. Right, here's the second point. Miners' lamps standards were called into question the area outside Boulder Town is getting more and more dangerous, and more and more vagrants are coming here. But with more people comes more gossip. I've heard enough of enough foolish things like Balloway is a blind appraiser, or any vagrant from Rivet Town is better than him. I don't know what game they're playing with this slander, but I'm not interested. Better to simply pack my bags and leave. After all, it should be easy to find a better appraiser, right? I have been faithfully serving you lucky dogs in the past and never thought of coveting the ancient goods you dug up. The very reason is that I am an honest person and have never done anything to cheat. 
But what about those outsiders? Can you trust them? They are nothing but a bunch of self-serving scoundrels who only care for themselves. They'll, de they'll denigrate those goods you value, but if you believe their nonsense and sold your goods to them as if you were selling scraps, then they will happily take them to flip for a high price elsewhere. But Miner's Lamp Balloway is not a heartless person. I can make exceptions. If the treasure you have is of great value, I might still be able to help you out. Think of me as being so fervently compassionate about no one getting cheated out of their fortune that I'll break my hiatus for these exceptional cases. But if it's just a piece of scrap, I suggest you find someone else. Balloway has henceforth ended its appraisal services. <laughs> That's cute. He's like, I'm done with this shit. I don't want it to do any more work. Unless... <laughs> Unless I'm passionate about you not getting cheated. Alright, uh, I've finished talking with the patients. I still haven't worked out how to convey it to you. The issues surrounding Vash. My relationship with him. The things he's done in the underworld. It's a long story. I'm guessing you've heard a lot of different opinions on Vash. <laughs> what do you make of him? Hmm. It's... <laughs> I think he's insane. I see. I can understand that. I want you to go and visit another patient, a victim of the Wonder Medicine. I want you to see the real consequences of abusing that medicine. Once you've understood her situation, come back and tell me what you think. After that, I want to ask for your help again. Find the victim of the wonder medicine. Lonely woman. <gasps> Who are you? I'm a friend of Dr. Natasha. Who? And... Who am I? Oh my god. Um... You're one of Dr. Natasha's patients, don't you remember? Where's my husband? And... Where's my child? Where, where are they? You, you know where they are, right? Um, I'm afraid not. Are you okay? You don't know. They don't know. Nobody knows. Where? Where, where did they go? Uh. Come over here, child. It's best to leave that poor lady in peace. Let me explain. Who's talking to me? That poor, poor lady. Both her husband and child became ill and passed away. And they made her become like this? And that made her become like this? Yes. Before her family passed away, she was a carefree young woman. Her husband and child caught a, a mysterious illness. The symptoms weren't grave, but their livelihood was certainly impacted. In order to try and rid themselves of the ailment once and for all, they bought some kind of wonder medicine. Oof. Who would have thought their condition would deteriorate so rapidly after they began using it? So wait, why? If people, like, are clearly dying because of it, why are they still taking such it? Such the death and became a blessing. It wasn't long before they departed this world, one after the other. From that moment on, oh, she became as you see her now. If Dr. Natasha hadn't taken her under her wing, well, it doesn't bear thinking about. It just sounds like poison. And yet, what more could have been done? They were warned about the medicine. They were told about the risks. And they chose to roll the dice. Oh, talking about it tires me out. At least my husband and I are able to help her where we can. I just hope that one day she can lead a normal life again.
So I guess it's just out of desperation. Dude, I want to meet this guy though. He sounds kind of fun. In like an evil way, you know? Did you speak to her? By the look on your face, I'm assuming you've come to understand the wonder medicine all too well. The people selling that stuff are devils. <sighs> yeah. Be it Vash or the Mutual Aid Society, forces like that can take full advantage of the... the typical underworld state of mind. <sighs> Let me tell you a story. There was once a brilliant overworld doctor with unmatched pharmaceutical skill. The doctor was set on developing a medicine that would steal the human body against the cold. He named his research project Blizzard Immunity. But his research met with obstruction time and time again, the biggest factor being a lack of test subjects. Tampering with the human immune system carries huge risk, and nobody in the overworld was willing to submit themselves to such experiments. As such, the doctor got in touch with his sister in the underworld, claiming that he wanted to support the medical effort below ground. And then... Naturally, his sister was overjoyed. After all, as far as medicine was concerned, her brother had always been the standard she'd strive to attain. She brought her brother underground and entrusted him with her clinic and laboratory. I think you know what comes next. It's hard to believe he was your brother. Issuing free medicine to the needy was just Vash's way of conducting experiments on his test subjects. On some level, his reagents were able to alleviate the patient's suffering, but nothing more. They would forget their pain for a while and neglect their regular treatment plans. <laughs> the result? Patients with mild illness would attribute their recovery to the so-called wonder medicine, while patients with serious illness would quickly deteriorate, and sometimes die. I cannot accept that their fate was simply the result of misfortune or risk. No true doctor would accept that. That's why I want you to help me recover all the wonder medicine. Ooh. Are you willing to take on this assignment? Um... Somebody has to do the right thing. Thank you. This will be hard for the people that have come to rely on the wonder medicine. But it's up to us to remove this false hope. You mustn't hesitate. Recover every last reagent that Vash left behind. I'll take responsibility for the consequences. Don't worry about that. Go. I'll be waiting for the good news. Go to the go to Rivet Town and track down the Wonder Medicine. Choose hot blooded dialogue five times. It took me that long to get that achievement. Oh, I am not going the right way. Stop right there. Can I kill these guys no now? One's allowed up ahead. Uh, hand over the wonder medicine. Ho oh, ho! Playing the hero, are we? Is this a stick up? Wait a minute, you're that clinic woman's lackey, aren't you? Did you think the Mutual Aid Society didn't have its own intel? She's after our medicine and sent you here to smash the place, right? Men, look lively and send this idiot packing already. <laughs> Kill this fool. I'm on it. Talent learned your lesson. Shape of Tyson! Rise, 
Pity, you chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead will return. I'm thinking about when I, when um, Luocha's idol you animation like summoned his coffin, and I was like, oh my god, I forgot he had a coffin. The fight is set. And Burb was like, good. how did you forget? So big. Wanna see what I can do? Dodge this. Like, listen, he doesn't run around I'm with too it. Little. Abyss flower, bloom. Unnecessary. God, his Blood auto heal is so nice. Must be repaid. Be silent. Allow me to see you off. <laughs> Allow me to see you off, said by somebody who is like associated with death, is so fucking cool. The old box has some medicine labeled with experiment numbers. This must be the wonder medicine that the Mutual Aid Society was talking about. You suddenly hear footsteps behind you. Well, look who we have here. Your reputation precedes you, outsider. I didn't take you for a bandit and a thief. Who's this fucking guy? Who are you? You listen here. I'm the president of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society. The medicine we hold here is lifeblood for many of our members. Are you sure you want to deprive them of that? Those poor patients. Along comes a life-saving wonder medicine only to be snatched away by a shameless bandit like you. It doesn't work. The underworld is full of sickness. What would happen if we left it all to that clinic to treat? My mutual aid society has relieved that doctor of patients at the end of the road. Shouldn't she be thanking me? Yikes. Natasha would never give up on a patient. Hmm. Seems like you are quite bent on dismantling our operations, aren't you? Fine, seeing as you came all this way, it'd be rude not to give you the opportunity. Uh oh. Men, seize the medicine thief. Oh, oh my god. Is that all you got? Let me pay you back. Ten full! No more playing nice. We are not going anywhere. As you wish. Time to settle your accounts. Ow. Receive divinity. I'm fine. Thank you. Hee <laughs> hee, he's so cute. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead will return. Hi, Riley. So the hydrate. That which is seized must be repaid. Your end approaches. I was in Prongle stream yesterday, and I matched. Every time they had a hydrate redeem, I would also drink water. No more playing nice. And I finished my whole water that day. I was very proud of myself. I will dispatch you by my sword. Make good the loss. My water glasses are so small, like the one I'm drinking from. That paradise. Yeah, and it lasts me multiple me. days. <laughs> Savor it in my place. Holy fuck! <laughs> mm, 
bastard! What did we ever do to you? Why are you taking away our moneymaker? You're killing people! Moneymaker? So you admit it then. Ah, where is she? You're not in this to save lives. You're in it to get rich. What are you doing here? Oh, as if we didn't have enough trouble already. Selling fake medicine with false kindness. You should have expected trouble to find you soon. <laughs> my eight ounces a week. I have a responsibility to protect yesterday. the well-being of my patients. Or to put it another way, I must eradicate any and all threats to them. You, well, you can't save everyone. The underworld is teeming with sickness. <laughs> How could you possibly pull it off? You're right. I can't save everyone alone. But if I must, I would sacrifice food and sleep to treat them. The debt that Vash owes to the underworld rests with me. All I can do is help everyone to the best of my ability. To the very end. Ugh. Ugh, oh, so stubborn. <laughs> In that sense, you're no different from your crazy brother. I'll take that as a compliment. This, I really like this guy's voice. Thank you. Your actions today have saved many underworld families. I'll find a way to dispose of Vash's leftover reagents. Next time the Mutual Aid Society wants to whip up a quack cure, they'll be out of luck. <laughs> Let's go back to town. I still owe those patients an explanation. If there's no danger here, then I'm needed elsewhere. Go back to the clinic and talk to Natasha. Oh, cuts. It looks like the patients have surrounded Natasha. Big cuts. Let's scene. hear what they're saying. What are you saying, Doctor? The wonder medicine is out of supply? Correct. That medicine is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Wildfire has cut off the supply chain. Your ailments need rational, scientific treatment. Relying on pseudo-medicines will only worsen your condition. <laughs> rational and scientific, huh? Preach. The way I see it, you're just jealous you lost your patience. <gasps> How dare you speak to Dr. Natasha like that? Where are your manners? Ma'am, please, think for a moment. How can you still be siding with her? That wonder medicine was working fine for us, and now it's gone because she wants it to be? How can she? I understand your anger, but as your doctor, I ask you to trust my judgment. I will find a way to access more medical resources and help you through your struggles. If I must, I'll get help from the surface. The surface. <laughs> I almost forgot that you were an overworld big shot. Is there no respect pleasing this dude? Natasha. If it's respect she wants, she better find a replacement for the wonder medicine fast. If not, I'll tell everyone about how she set up Dr. Vash. Gasp. I'm out of here. <laughs> Fine, drink your poison, dumb bitch. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you're here. I apologize. That must have made for uncomfortable viewing. Are you okay? No, wait. I'd like to straighten out that loud mouth myself. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. If I were in Can his I shoes, beat his I ass? might well have had the same reaction. Now I need to focus on treating the patients and dispelling their doubts. Let's leave it for now. I'll feel a lot better once I've gotten rid of this mess that Vash left us. Now's as good a time as any to tell you Vash's whole story. If there's anything you want to know, don't hesitate to ask. Was he your biological brother? No, but 
I used to think we were so close that we may as well have been. Why why would I ask that? Why do you ask people that fucking question? That's not a normal thing to ask people. I uh actually grew up in the orphanage. It wasn't until I was adopted by an overworld family that life changed for me. My adoptive mother always saw me as her own flesh and blood, <laughs> and Vash loved me like a sister. That is, while we were still young. My adoptive parents belonged to a prominent medical family. As kids, we were exposed to all kinds of medical texts. When we were older, both of us got straight into Bellabog's medical school. We were on a path into the medical profession. What kind of person was Vash? He was gentle and introverted. But when it came to work, he could be absurdly obsessive. Like a completely different person. Whenever I made a mistake in an experiment, he'd bite my head off. And then a while later, he'd apologize and comfort me. He was... conflicted in that way. So you knew this medicine was his work? I didn't know he had leftover reagents in Rivet Town. I was shocked when you told me. If you fail to make a clean break with the past, the past creeps up on you. BRB. Hopefully my scene transition 
audio worked. <laughs> Sorry, there is a man. <laughs> like pouring concrete on our house. We had to investigate. But I think he's supposed to be there. Anyway. Did he really pass away? <sighs> That's a long story. Ever since he was little, Vash had always wanted to develop a medicine called blizzard immunity. He saw the human body's vulnerability to cold as a disease, and wanted to cure it so that humanity could survive the eternal freeze. If he succeeded, people would be able to leave Bellabog and rebuild their homes in the snow plains. Do you share his vision? To be honest, I never understood how he'd achieve that blizzard immunity. But I do admire that vision and perseverance. I always chose to believe him, ever since I was a kid. I knew his research in the overworld wasn't going well. I used to write to him and ask him to come down and stay with the kids in the orphanage for a while. I thought it might help take his mind off his research. But I was too young to know what long-term frustration could do to a person. It changed him. In a terrible way. Changed him? During his stay in the underworld, he met patients affected by fragmentum corrosion with mild symptoms. Compared with non-patients, their bodies reacted differently to hot and cold. And that fascinated Vash. Ooh. He began to simulate mild fragmentum corrosion, thinking that it could lead to breakthroughs in developing blizzard immunity. Those reagents of his aren't cure-alls for critical illness. That doesn't exist. Fash made the reagents to mitigate the suffering of his patients in the short term. A convenient way for him to observe changes in his test subjects. But behind my back, he had been doling out the reagents to residents who were kept in the dark. When it finally struck me that something was wrong, his terrible research had already turned him into... into a madman. He'd lost his last shred of humanity. Indeed. And it all happened under my nose. How ridiculous. My judgment was clouded by trust in a loved one. When his experiments were exposed, I spent a long time with Oleg discussing how to handle the aftermath. This was shortly before the underworld was sealed off. There were hardly any Silvermane guards remaining. We spent ages trying to find a way to handle Vash. Mom, get down! In the end, Oleg suggested that we banish him and permanently deny him access to the underworld. Had his victims found out the truth, Vash would have been torn to pieces by furious underworlders. They have a teleport. I was... young and weak at the time. Oleg must have worried about how I'd react to such a scenario, or he wouldn't have suggested banishment. You two did the right thing. I hope so. The day I learned the truth was the day I no longer recognized my brother. <laughs> Oleg and I took Vash to the overworld. He made his final request to us. To take him outside the city to the snow plains he'd always wanted to conquer. His figure gradually disappeared into the snow curtain. <laughs> I've been telling myself that Vash is dead ever since. So you're saying there's a chance. Forgive me. I'm not good at telling stories. Vash was a terrible brother and a worse doctor. That's all you need to know. He's, he Let's could be out there day. still. Thank you for cleaning up the mess my brother left behind. Here. He's out there waiting for me. This fucked up doctor man. Slices of life before the furnace. Boom! And we're done. Wow. So 
So if I go, well, wait. So that wasn't enough, I think, for her to be a companion on my train, right? Because it would have set. Maybe she'll text me and I'll get like a part two. No? Okay. All right, we're done with Natasha. Cool. Um, I'm gonna use up the rest of my normal warps and then I'm gonna end. Okay. Oh! Another Ching Chue! Yay, I like her. Got another girl. Read between the tiles. Ultimate level plus two up to maximum of 15. it up here. Um, as soon as Carmine goes live, I'm gonna raid him. Boom. Um, Carmine's gonna be drawn today. Alrighty, and I will see you over there. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.